So in week three of the hair goals challenge that we're doing for eight weeks long, and if you're unfamiliar with it and hearing about it for the first time, don't worry, you are not too late to join in. And I'm gonna have all the information in the description so that way you can get started and see the whole schedule as well. And those who take part in this challenge will be getting a henna six surprise product box. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So week three, we're focusing on essential oils. The essential oils you should definitely have in your henna and Ayurvedic hair care stash for your hair regimen is definitely some lemongrass. So lemongrass is particularly amazing for your hair regimen and you must have that in your stash because it adds a lot of shine to your hair and it can be used for so many different things in a diffuser because it's just so invigorating. It can be even used in other like facial recipes that you might be creating. So the lemongrass is definitely really good, especially if you love the scent of it. It smells amazing. You can find lemongrass also in our Sweet Honey Hair Nourisher and that is amazing. People really love the Sweet Honey Hair Nourisher. And the lavender essential oil is also another amazing essential oil that you have to have in your stash not only does it smell really good it's great for those during pregnancy or those who have like sensitivities usually lavender is a great choice um, there are still some people who are allergic to certain essential oils so before using any of them in general just know that you should definitely do a patch test with anything new that you're using honestly do a little patch test to make sure you don't have any allergies to it um, so this is a great one to have. Then you have your rosemary essential oil. This essential oil is amazing for hair growth. What makes our rosemary essential oil so special is that it is imported from Morocco. It has to be hands down the best essential oil of rosemary that I have ever smelled and experienced. It really smells authentic. Um, some rosemary essential oils for some reason smell like eucalyptus, which is very odd because rosemary um, is a definitely, you know, if you've cooked with it before, you know how it smells, um, but it's just, maybe it's varieties and maybe there are just other varieties that I'm not really aware of that they smell so different, but the rosemary from Morocco is amazing. And this is definitely an essential oil you want when you're looking to promote hair growth. Another essential oil that we have here is peppermint. And not only is peppermint so invigorating, a lot of people love this for promoting that shine and that hair growth as well. It's just a great go-to essential oil to have. And another really great essential oil to have on hand is tea tree oil for sure. It's antibacterial. It, any scalp issues, uh, just anything bothering your scalp, this is really gonna help with that. And it even is known to prevent hair loss and also another essential oil that people like for hair growth. And then you have other essential oils that may not have so many benefits for hair per se, but they smell amazing because I love the sweet orange essential oil. And that is another oil that we import from Morocco directly. One of the best I have ever smelled. I love those two essential oils from Morocco are my absolute favorite. So for me personally, what I love about essential oils, my favorite way to use essential oils is definitely going to be in a henna hair coloring recipe that involves indigo. Since I don't really like the smell of indigo too much, I usually add really good essential oils to the whole hair coloring recipe so that way um, it can smell really nice and it leaves the hair smelling nice and it's just not, it doesn't feel as strong because sometimes indigo for some people who have sensitivities can give you a headache. So the essential oils really help mask that. And anything that you're not really in love with that herbally earthy smell, the essential oils are like key to making you love that recipe that you just created so much more easily. And another way that I love to use essential oils is in a diffuser. Have you ever tried using it in a diffuser? It just smells so nice and it just spreads throughout the air and just uh, leaves the whole place smelling amazing. So yeah, so again, if you wanna find out more information about the eight week hair goals challenge and you wanna just jump right in so that way you can earn yourself a henna soap product box that you absolutely love, I guarantee you're gonna love it. And if you wanna see what other people are submitting and 
how you know how it's going for everyone and what they're doing to get more ideas you could definitely use the hashtag natural hair goals 2021 and then we also have a private facebook community group and if you want to go to that community group and join us then all you have to do is go to hennasook.com click on community and you can join our group right away you'll, you'll love all the content and all the behind the scenes and everything that we have going for this whole challenge i'm just really excited about it and you can stay tuned for on monday live on our instagram you could find us live at 7 p.m eastern time zone and we're going to be talking about next week's hair goal and what that focus is so that you can get ready to prepare your next recipe it's going to be so much fun and and all this challenge what i really love about this challenge and what i really recommend about you all getting involved is that you're going to get to really go deep with the ingredients that you're using on your hair and finding out what your hair loves and what it doesn't really like but you're this is an opportunity for you to really see what ingredients and what you know recipes and exactly what will work really well for your hair and so i definitely really recommend and that you take part in this challenge even if you're late to it or even if you're doing it on your own that is fine i just want you to get the experience of finding out all these recipes that could work really well for you for the rest of your hair goals for 2021 every week i'll be coming to you with a new recipe can't wait to share the next one with you and thank you i'll see you all soon bye